this sort of ice. Uh, we're, we're kind of waiting for that to happen here. I don't think it's going to happen with people in that sort of similar position. Um, and in God's sense, how to make that happen? How to, yeah. get around, how to get around these people, how to get through them, or whatever it is. You know, it's, it's okay to rail about big money and big business being the problem, but they are really interested in one thing, and that's euros. Period. And the way that you change things, and we've seen it throughout history, is you say no to the products. You say, no, we're not going to take those foods anymore. No, we're not going to just blindly go into drugs because you suggested it. And this is how we saw Russia fall. Of course, my country took credit for it. Russia ran out of money. That's how communism fell. Now, they're going to fall, and it will happen. We see it coming, inching up a little bit every day. Is the public is going to say no to their nonsense at this point. And we have, at this point, an understanding from the statisticians and mathematicians that you need about 17.5% of the global Western public to be on board with consciousness. It doesn't mean we're all saints, it's just we're, we say no. You know, we're not going to go along with this anymore. We're about 12% now. And I see the difference in the four and a half decades that I've been doing this work, who shows up to conferences. When I used to come to Dublin back in the 70s, if I had 15 people show up into the room, I'd be elated at that point. Now we're turning away hundreds of people at some venues. And it's not just one type of person, or a liberal person, or an open-minded person, because we're all affected. We're deeply affected by this corporate insanity at this point. So it will change. Be optimistic. And your government also has people in it. Don't think doctors are not people. Don't think government officials are not people. They have wives, husbands, children, relatives, and they are affected by this. And do you know how many doctors come to us a year? Anyone have a guest? Uh, 2,500 guests that come through us every year? We now have about 50 to 75 doctors, of which 80% tell us, don't tell anyone we're here. Recently, about a month ago, we had seven doctors who came independently and didn't know. Because when they get sick, what do you think they do? And so the system is broken. And you cannot sustain a broken system. So that is broken, you say no, and it collapses in the next 20 to 25 years. So excellent question. Who else is in the back there? Hi, my brain. Uh, thank you very much for your first presentation. I just like to ask a question here about fluoride in the water. How organic is organic if they're using fluoride to water to water their crops and vegetables? That's the first part of my question. And then the second part is we're running a, an anti fluoride campaign in the country here, and we asked the Organic Soil Association to come out and to support it, and we refused him. So we just think like, who are the good guys here in the in country? If they're the Organic Soil Association, you would think that they were supposed to be on our side. That's fine. Well, let me make a comment on it. What happens with people is we all have seemingly, through our lifestyles, our attitudes, our negative patterns, limited energy. So people get stuck on their subject. And they don't uni universify it, where they look at all the problems. I mean, your comment is right. I always tell you to support the organic movement, but in fact, it's true. If they're using tap water and not groundwater, even the groundwater has chemicals in it, you are absolutely sure that they're putting fluoride on it. But fluoride plus pesticides, fungicides, and herbicides are worse than just fluoride. <laughs> well, so always support them. And I'm not going to judge if they're good guys or bad guys. They're probably weak guys. And most people, sadly, are weak. The value systems are wrong. And even if they have an understanding of this, they don't have the energy, know-how, or, or, or wisdom, and knowledge, or money to do anything about it. Hi, Brian. Uh, what's your thoughts on the vaccinations for babies? Well, number one, vaccines have literally saved millions of people's lives. Certain diseases are minimized or no longer exist. But I wouldn't vaccinate any of my four children if you shot them. Because vaccines also have deadly chemicals in them. They, in our country, in 1996, we demanded they take mercury out. They have nickel in it. They still have mercury in several of them. What we did is dump out of the United States all of the vaccines looking like good boys and girls and gave it to Africans still with the mercury in it. So this is dangerous. Now, what you're doing, so you understand what a vaccine is, you know, you all get excited about vaccines. You don't know what the hell they are. Vaccines are putting a disease into your body. Now, 
The theory behind it, which is partially correct, by the way, you put a little bit of a disease in your body, now your immune system becomes familiar with it, the antigens and antibodies, so that you'll never really die from the disease. <clears throat> the problem is that now you permanently take the immune system and weaken it for the rest of your life, because you have a disease in there for the rest of your life. It's not like it goes away. And so this is why larger diseases with younger people, people below 40, are now per capita gaining catastrophic disease more so than people above 65. And I'm not saying it's only vaccines, it's all the McDonald's and on and on the list go, but in part it's vaccines from the weakening of the immune system at birth, etc. Uh, in my country, and I can't talk for here because I don't know the real statistics, when I was a boy they tried to fully vaccinate all generations. We were the first one that they got close to. We got two vaccines. The average American child today, Canadian child today, gets 36 vaccines. And I've read it, by the way. The new pharmaceutical directive, if they can get it passed in your country and all over the world, is throughout your life, every five years until the day you die, you take vaccines. Hi, Brian. 